Hello, I'm Mrs. Villeberg and welcome to Makeup by the Villebergs. Today we're creating this look. I hope you like it. Hey everyone, the Wilbergs here, back with another makeup tutorial. The look we're going for today is beauty with an edge. I knew what wig the missus was gonna wear, so I wanted to be damn sure we didn't create some bullshit prom queen. So I decided to do something that I'd like to call two sparkly black eyes and an over-the-top glam lip, just to balance the look out. Today we're going to play around with some of the new makeup products from Pat McGraw Labs, among other things. But first we start with the base. And as always, we're going to use a selection of Krylon Supper Color, painting the base with two light colors and contouring with two darker ones. I have noticed that the eyeshadows sometimes both look and stick better to the skin if I don't have a thick base under it. So today I'm outlining and not filling in the part of the eyelid where I later want to create the black eye. We're setting the base with translucent powder from Cryolog. Make sure to pound it in really good. Now when the base is done, you can pick up the color with blush. I'm using Bright Coral from Maquillage around the contouring and the nose. It's time to start playing around with the colors to create the sparkly black eye. I'm only using the palette Mothership 3 Subversive by Pat McGraw Labs to do it. Start out by framing the eye in the very light color Astral Ghost Orchid, just to give the rest of the makeup a pop. Follow with a gorgeous color Night Creature and fill in the whole eyelid and also under the eye. Dab your finger in VR Pink and gently add a circle in the middle of the black eye. This color looks amazing. Continue framing the eye with Extreme Black from the same palette, under the eye and all around the black eye. I want to give the eye an angle within the black eye, so I'm going to use an eyeliner, the dual ended one from Pat McGraw. And when I'm done, I fill it in with a black eyeshadow. Before we continue, brush out the edges under the eye with the Night Creature eyeshadow to make the transition between black and purple look more smooth. The eye is almost done, we just need to frame it with one last product. The 001 Gold Pigment, also from Pat McGraw. Apply with a sharp brush around the edge of the black eye. It's time for the lashes, and before we curl and paint the lashes with Maquillage Mascara, we fill in any moles with the eyeliner. We're going for a simple lash today, by drag standards anyway. The Double Up Lash by Adrell. Now it's time to create that over-the-top glam lip I was telling you about before. You really don't need to outline the lip with the products that I'm going to use, but since I'm overdrawing the lips, I prefer to know what the fuck I'm doing and not wing it. So I'm tracing the whole shape of the lip with a Night Fever pen from Pat McGraw before going in with the lipstick. Okay, so now it's time to get this five component lip going. I'm using the complete set of products found in the Liquilos 007 Color Blitz set to create it. Starting out with Nightshade, applying it in the corners of the lips. Follow with Revelation Red. These lipsticks dry like eyeshadow, so I'm blending them out as I go along using a Q-tip. You fill in the middle of the lips with Wreckage Total, and after that is dried, I blend that in too. We could stop there, but we still have two more products to apply. Gently brush on the violet 007 crystalline micro fine pigment all over the lips. And finally finish the lips off with a clear vinyl gloss to blend it all together. Mm -hmm. 
the lips are done and I noticed just a tad more dominant than I thought so I'm going to add some of the violet 007 pigment to the eyelid just to balance the look out. The makeup is almost done, you just need a highlighter to complete it. Today I'm using the Iridescent Pink 003 by McGraw Labs. It has a metallic, metallic pink finish that fits this makeup perfectly. Ta-da! The look is complete and I feel gorgeous! I'm wearing a wig from Donna Love Hair, styled by my husband, of course. And my eyes are from Camwise. If you have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. I'm very exciting. Bye!